bless up bless up my people welcome back to the channel it's your girl anissa bell rhodes thanks to all new subscribers thanks to the returning subscribers if you're new to the channel subscribe turn the post notification bell on put it on all so you won't miss an upload from me on the road to 10k help me to get there my people so in this one my people we have an update as it pertains to the brutal killing of the vice president of gc foster as well as my people another update on leoda bradshaw a next revelation as it pertains to Leoda Bradshaw, as well as we learn the fate of National Water Commission's president, Mr. Mark Barnett. Stay tuned for all that will be unfolded in this video, my people. Drop a like on the video in the meantime. So, a man has been charged in relation to the murder of Gibbs Williams on friday october the 6th and we know that mr gibbs williams was the vice principal for academics at the gc foster college of physical education and sports he was shot multiple times outside the portmore hospital complex in saint catherine my people and upon arrival at the spanish town hospital he succumbed and passed away and the police during that time have stated that there was no robbery as the motive. So, quote-unquote, my people, it alleged to be a hit. So, there's an update from the police force as it pertains to, you know, the identity of a 21-year-old Jerome Hales of 15 Duff Street, Kingston. So, it's alleged that he did the crime of people. Listen to what the police has to say. Exactly seven days ago, Friday, October 6th, sometimes after 12 in the afternoon, you would recall that Mr. Gibbs Anthony Williams, 55 years old, vice principal of GC Foster College, was shot at the Portmore Hospital complex located at Lot 4 Megaway, Portmore, St. Catherine. Information is that Mr. Williams drove his 2023 green Toyota RAV4 motor vehicle to the hospital complex for a medical appointment. Upon completion, he was heading towards his vehicle that was parked on the compound when he was attacked by criminals and shot several times. Mr. Williams ran back inside the premises where he collapsed. He was assisted by the police to the Spanish Town Hospital where he was pronounced Dead. Following intensive investigations and through collaborative efforts that spanned across four divisions, St. Catherine South, St. Catherine North, St. Andrew South, and Kingston Eastern Division, several persons were arrested and taken into custody. Jerome Hills, 21 years old, of 50 Duff Street, Kingston 13, was subsequently charged for the following offenses. Murder, being a participant in a criminal organization, and aiding and abetting robbery with aggravation. This was a cruel and senseless act that took the life of one of Jamaica's outstanding leaders in academic and sports. Many persons were left heartbroken and angry by this killing. In this next segment, my people, we learn the fate of the president of the National Water Commission, Mark Barnett, who was alleged to be under investigation by the Integrity Commission for breaches of building permits as well as owing the National Water Commission over 900K in bills. And we know within that report that they had referred him to the DPP basically, so they his fate would have lied in the hands of the DPP, Paula Llewellyn. And it has come across that Mark Bennett has been sent on administrative leave, effectively, immediately. Right? Mr. Barnett was sent off after a special meeting of the National Waters Commission's board on Friday and was given a formal letter that suggested the same. Mark Bennett has been in charge at the National Water Commission since August the 1st, 2015. 
His future in the post is increasingly uncertain following a damning integrity commission's report tabled in the House last Tuesday. It's understood that Barnett has been sent on leave as a board conducts a thorough review of the document tabled by the commission. Several complaints from unions regarding Mr. Barnett's stewardship of the commission have also been reportedly generating concern among the board of the Water Commission. So he's on leave right now, my people, unsure of his fate. They let him know whether he's going to continue in the post or not. So I take it that he'll probably still um, be getting paid as well, my people. So this is what the people um, were big in society at least them get always get leaf and ending up getting paid still until investigation is completed let me know what you think about this my people as well as we have learned that leoda bradshaw was charged along with the three men who you know allegedly kidnapped conspired to kidnap and murder 27-year-old Tashina Patterson and her 10-month-old daughter Soraya Paulwell. It also came to light, my people, that this Leoda Bradshaw was a very dangerous woman. And before I get into this other aspect, my people, even if somebody pay uno as it people they do away with persons oh my goodness look at the baby face from when i see this little baby uno couldn't get a change of heart on a tree hard back man where really take and kill this little baby and her mother without this mother and baby doing uno nothing on the don't know the tune is how what went down i want to just take a hundred thousand jamaican dollars to do a heinous crime like this now the director of public prosecution have the right to take this to the highest court my people and it is what she will do as well as a friend a former friend of this very same leora bradshaw has come forward my people to say that she is not a good person she befriended her ended up take out life insurance against this young lady and her mother how can a friend take out life insurance for another friend and their mother so you go in the people them place you befriend them you gain them trust only to be taking out life insurance on their heads and nothing is wrong with the people them. they are not your family can somebody be so cold-hearted and callous my people and the young lady said that she found out because letters came to their house saying that payments were no longer being paid on the policy. So it looked like she couldn't keep up with the policy or it seems as if she wanted to get rid of these people. Now the girl said that she won't hold her mouth anymore because she allowed her to come in her space, allowed her around her child, not knowing that she was this evil because look what she did, my people orchestrated, conspired, sat and planned. The director of public prosecution said this woman here meticulously sit down and calculate to get rid of this mother and baby. Over what? And now she's hiding. When she sees the media, she's hiding, coming from court. You must not hide. Want to make me know what you think, my people? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Run, go over to my other platform, Instagram and Facebook, and follow me over there at Anissa Bell Rose. Check out the YouTube store, make a purchase. It goes in support of the channel. Check out the YouTube membership. You get a lot of benefits by becoming a member. We do notifications, shout out in each and every video to be a part of that. All you have to do is be the first to comment and like, and you'll be featured in the following video to come. This notification shout out goes to... Pelps, Pelps, big up yourself, Pelp, Pelps, big up to each and every subscriber. New viewers, come on board, journey with me, join the family, subscribe to the channel, on the road to 10k. Share out some of the videos, them, like up the videos, them, 
Stay tuned for more videos. Big up on yourself.